Hi hey guys and welcome back. This is part two of us installing a concrete slab for a double wide mobile home. If you haven't seen part one yet, I'll have it linked at the end of this video so you can go back and watch that when you're done watching this video. But anyway, my name's Mike Day. I own Day's Concrete Floors. We specialize in all times of all types of concrete flat work. And if you like that kind of stuff, you know, please go ahead down there and hit subscribe. Hit the like button too if you like these kind of videos. So what we're doing is we're installing a 58 by 28 6 inch concrete slab for a double wide mobile home. So this is just the base to set the mobile home on and the codes in Maine, I live in Maine, are they just need a 6 inch slab, just a base. Nothing gets put on the dirt. So what we did was we, we framed this all out, put in the wire mesh. We, we're going to be installing a double row of rebar around the outside edge just for some added reinforcement. You can see I got the septic pipe uh, boxed out there in the middle. We got that right where it needs to go. And we're pouring the concrete here today. We're using a, a 3000 PSI concrete today and I'm using a high range water reducer in this. And what that means is that's a chemical additive they put in at the concrete plant. And that, that high range water reducer allows us to pour a really loose slump, like a seven, eight inch slump, without having to add water to do it. So it doesn't, it doesn't hurt the integrity of the concrete. It doesn't lower the strength of the concrete. It, uh, it costs a couple, a few bucks more a yard for that, but it allows us to pour a really loose slump and uh, just makes it a lot easier when, we, when you're pouring big slabs like this that are really flat. So what Darren is doing over there with Tia and Luke is they're setting in that double row and we like to wet set those so especially when we pour uh, with a high range water reducer and then just push them down about two or three inches from the surface so we know that they're right in the middle of the slab. Eric and I are over there uh, finishing emptying out that truck. That's a 10 yard truck and I got my wire puller with me and he's, he's kind of tuning it in get, trying to get it as close to grade as he can. When we form this up, we set the top of the top of the forms right to grade, and the dirt grade was off a little bit. So we got places at uh, seven inches, a couple places at eight inches, but most of it is is right in that six inch range. We'll get that one truck emptied right out and get him out of here and and get him back to the batch plant so they can use him for somebody else, and then uh, we're gonna. We're going to dump that second truck out as soon as we get this screeded off. So what I'm doing now is I'm making my wet pad in the middle. And that wet pad, I'm going to use the laser for that. i got a laser set up. It's going to be at the exact same height as the top of the forms are. And then we'll wet screed off from that. So that's how we're going to level this thing here today. We also got a, we also got a power screed we're going to be using, a vibratory screed from MBW, the screed demon. And we're going to use that to screed most of this slab with. You're going to actually see Tia, my daughter's going to screed this whole slab. So, you know, if you're wondering just just how easy uh, the screed demon is to use, you're going to see my daughter do this whole slab with it today. That thing weighs about 25 to 30 pounds, I'd say. Um, it's got a 12-foot board on it. It comes with different size boards, but overall the 12 footer is a, a pretty good one to use for most most of your floors and slabs. Atiyah's only run this a couple times before, so this might be her third time running this thing and so she's kind of just learning. She's doing a good job though. She's been this is her second summer working for me, so she knows she knows what she's doing. He just hasn't run the screed demon that much. You can see she can pick that thing right up and move it right to where it needs to go. So it's pretty lightweight. We got all our edges mag floated to grade. And like I said, she's got that middle wet pad she's going by. So she just sets that down. It, it doesn't sink into the concrete. Even when it's about a seven inch slump like this, it's not gonna sink right down in. It's gonna float on the top because that board is about five to six inches wide. So it floats on top. You know, you just need, when you, when you give it throttle, 
when you give it throttle, you just need to slightly pull back on it and just keep moving backwards. You know, don't stop in one spot with the throttle going. Just move slowly backwards and, and make, watch each end, make sure the ends are touching and let the rakers do most of the work. So we got that first truck all screeded down, bull floated. We're going to get this second 10 yard truck dumped out. Then we got a balance load coming of about five yards. So you can see we're just we're just getting these these uh, bays poured out. We poured out that one bay right there. Now we're pouring out the next bay. I got the wire pulley. You can see I'm yanking up on that wire, getting it up into the concrete. Once you get concrete under that wire, you know the aggregate in the in the concrete hold the wire up off the bottom. Even if you walk back on it, it doesn't go all the way back down to the bottom. So it does add a certain level of reinforcement, even if you're walking on it like this. Plus, we got fiber mesh in the concrete too, so it's actually got a double reinforcement in it. If you want to learn more about concrete, about how to do concrete like this, how to set up slabs, how to pour, how to finish concrete, the Concrete Underground, guys, is my training academy. I have a link for that down in the description. So in, in the Concrete Underground, I... I uh, have more trainings, more in-depth trainings, plus you have access to me for questions um, in the forums, so it's, it's, a, it's a higher learning place for concrete. I'm, I'm training the next generation of concrete finishers in there, guys, so if that's what you're looking for, then check that out down in the description. You can see how T is running that thing, just moving nice and easy, slow and steady, backwards, getting the concrete screeded. Darren's come, coming behind her with the bull float. Getting that nice and level. When we do when we do uh, double wide pads like this, or even a like a single wide trailer slab, you know we generally pour them flat. We don't crown them. We don't slope them. So so when they put the home on it and they go to level it, they just they usually use some blocks to level it with, and then we also install like hurricane. Like we'll bend up some rebar and put it in the slab kind of like an anchor bolt and those are the hurricane tie downs we'll put five on each side and then they'll kind of chain the home down to the, to the hurricane tie downs and you see i'm constantly pulling up on the wire as them guys are pulling it around getting it up into the concrete It makes it nice with the high range water reducer. I mean, you don't really need an extra chute to pull it, and you know, six or seven feet. It flows pretty good. It's just a matter of, you know, using the chemicals they have to help make the pores easier instead of just adding water to it. You can see how wide that board is on the bottom. It's, it's, it's a good six inches wide, so it floats right on the concrete. Your job is just as the operator of that screed demon is just to keep it, keep each edge so it's touching, and then work your way backwards like Tia is right now. And then Eric and Luke there, they're making sure the concrete's not too low, not too high. They're trying to keep it maybe about a half inch to an inch high behind the, the board, so Tia's always pulling back some concrete. You can see Darren coming behind her, how how flat that is just by the way he's bull floating. So she's going to just pull that right back to the board, step out, and then that'll be it for screeding this thing. So that's basically, you know, how you pour a, a double wide mobile home slab. Again, down in the description, guys, is the Concrete Underground. Check that out if you want more training. Uh, come on back if you haven't subscribed yet, you know go down go ahead down there and hit subscribe I come out with a couple videos a week if you like these kind of videos Please hit the like button and we'll see you on the next one